I I'm not a sports guy too much. You know what I mean? I played. I had a game back when I was young. I could have went to the league. Sure. I played football, what baseball, league? a little. I mean, I, league? Lot of, to. a lot of places. When <laughs> you went to Cabrini College, stop that shit. You went to yes. Bum College. Nobody <laughs> know that college, so don't even count that. So, but what I, I do know right. certain stuff, and I, you know, I, re, I did my reading on some stuff, and sure. I, and, and I said, okay, outside of Michael Jordan, who's the second greatest player that ever played basketball? Me personally, if you're talking resume, it would be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mm. If you're talking skill. To me, it's LeBron James. It's LeBron James. I think LeBron see, James is the greatest, is the second greatest player in the history of basketball. Absolutely. Without a doubt. LeBron James is the second greatest player. He's better than Kobe? Uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Why is he better? And it hurts me to say that because. I'm not saying because I need it, to know. No, no. It, it hurts me to say that because Kobe was my man. But Kobe was a scoring machine and Kobe was an assassin. But here's what, here's the analogy that I throw by, by a lot of basketball experts. You do understand that when you look at Kobe, you automatically think number two. At his position. Right. Because he emulated Michael Jordan. Right. He just wasn't MJ. Right. You see what I'm saying? And so when you think about LeBron, without question, the greatest small forward that ever played the game of basketball. Um, you look at him 6'9", 260, the versatility, the passing skills, the scoring prowess, and all of those things in between. What he brought to the table, 10 NBA Finals appearances, four NBA championships, will retire as the all-time leading scorer in the history of basketball. Shooting field, field goal percentage shooting was greater. Three-point percentage shooting was right up there with Kobe's, if not better. All of those things taken into consideration, didn't have Shaq at his disposal, didn't have Phil Jackson as a coach to lean on. All of those things taken into consideration. You look at Kobe without taking anything away from the Black Mamba, one of the greatest ever. You just look at LeBron James as the Mount Rushmore, as a member of the Mount Rushmore of basketball. One of the top five, top four or five players in the history of basketball. You've never said that about Kobe. What we've said about Kobe is that he's better than everybody but MJ at his position. When we talk about LeBron, we say the best at basketball, period. There's a different discussion. So who's your top five? Mike, LeBron. I would tell you uh, MJ, LeBron, Kareem, um, me personally, I just I can't take away from Bill Russell and the 11 chips because of the times he was living in and what he had to go through, black man in Boston, Massachusetts, having to deal with all that he had to deal with, still not just leading as a player, but then a player coach and winning championship that way. And I would tell you, after I take that into consideration, I'd bring in Irvin Magic Johnson. What about KD? Um, KD? KD as a scoring machine talent, yes. KD as a leader, no. You got to remember, Magic Johnson's in L.A. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy, Byron Scott, Norm Nixon before him, Michael Cooper, Michael Thompson, all of these cats. Magic Johnson, the greatest point guard, the greatest pass in the history of basketball, was also the greatest leader because he was the one that convinced everybody there's something here for all of us. Do your job, and I do my job, and together we're going to shine and we're going to own this decade. 